Yep. Good morning. Today is Wednesday of the fifth week of Lent. A reading from the Holy Gospel according to John. Glory to you, O Lord. Jesus said to those Jews who believed in him, If you remain in my word, you will truly be my disciples, and you will know the truth, and the truth will set you free. They answered him, We are the descendants of Abraham, and have never been enslaved to anyone. How can you say you will be free? Jesus answered them, Amen, amen, I say to you, everyone who commits a sin is a slave of sin. A slave does not remain in a household forever, but a son always remains. So if the son frees you, then you will truly be free. I know that you are descendants of Abraham, but you are trying to kill me, because my word has no room among you. I can tell you what I have seen in the Father's presence. Then do what you have learned from the Father. They answered and said to him, Our father is Abraham. Jesus said to them, If you were Abraham's children, you would be doing the works of Abraham. But now you are trying to kill me, a man who has told you the truth that I heard from God. Abraham did not do this. You are doing the works of your father. So they said to him, We were not born of fornication. We have one father, God. Jesus said to them, If God were your father, you would love me. For I came from God, and I am here. I did not come on my own, but he sent me. The Gospel of the Lord. Praise to you, Lord Jesus Christ. This morning, this is a very famous passage. Um, Jesus says, you will know the truth, and the truth will set you free. What is the truth? Well, the truth is that salvation comes through Jesus Christ, and that he is the one that draws us to himself, and that draws us to the Father. Think for a minute if everyone followed just their own way. Think for a minute if we all just tried to be good in our own way. Well, we might accomplish something, but the problem when we follow our own way, when we just try to be good, or when people don't care about, about God and our own being creatures of creations of God, the world goes awry because sin is real and affects each one of us. When Jesus stands here and says, follow me, I am the way, the truth, and the life, he allows us to be free from our sins, but he can save the world as we all put ourselves aside and follow the one who calls us to love, to forgiveness, and to mercy. This is the truth, and this is the way that we bring salvation into the world when we recognize that we are all creatures, creations of God, and when we follow him in the path of mercy, forgiveness, and love. God bless and have a nice day. Get it? Yep.